Hey guys, how's it going? Whoop whoop. What you call them, love everyone? Sideshows, juggalos, subscribers, watchers, you know, that kind of thing. So, anyway, uh, somehow one of my moderators got blocked. I gotta find out is so all my moderators are getting removed except for Scoobs. And then we can find out what's going on. Alright? Because it won't let me go live. It keeps showing up. One well, of your moderators are blocked and you can still see it. I know that. Then quit telling me that. So anyway, Bill, my homie, my ninja friend, my juggalo friend, my buddy, my pal. Anyway. He wants to get some money because he wants to go fishing tonight. Let's get paid till next week. So he's got a concrete saw, and I'm taking it to the pawn shop. Okay, and uh, we're going to. The, I'm going to the pawn shop. The he gets. They offered him 160 to buy it outright, but they can sell it for more than that. So he told me to get 140. Get 140. I said okay. He goes, if they say 160, you say 140. It's a pawn, and you'll be back on the 16th to get it. So on the 16th, and he'll go back, and we get his yeah concrete saw. But so that's what my, my thing is. We're doing right now. I have to go all the way to Arizona and do this. Ugh. Pain in the butt. I might be. I was, I was told that I can get ceramic teeth now. Dentures, ceramic. They look nice and they actually chew food. So the plastic. So we'll find out. So we're gonna go ahead and. This is the pawn shop over there in uh, Arizona, off of Bullhead. Off of Bullhead. What am I saying? Off the. <laughs> Oh my god, I messed up. Boy, did I mess up, guys. But, yeah. I'm going it's by the McDonald's over there, by Safeway and all that. Safeway and Smith's and the new Burger King they put on the corner that was way in the back by Smith, uh, Safeway. So, anyway, um... We're heading there, and that's what the plan is. The cops over here are handing out tickets left and right. And I don't mean tickets to the police with this ball. They're actually giving tickets out to people for stupid shit. At least they say it was stupid. What the police consider to be stupid shit and the average person is not stupid. So yeah, so then he wants me to, for him, he said, keep 20 for yourself. I said, okay, cool. And he said, cause he can't get off work right now. He doesn't get off till about four. And the pawn shop, by the time we get there, it might be closed depending on traffic. So he said, get uh, 140, keep 20 for yourself and then get him <laughs> some wax. Yes, he's going to do his legs. Wax, you know how that's done. Alright, so, I'm going to pick him some of that up, and then bring him his money. Let's see what we got here. Train bridge! So many cars go back down that bridge, guys. All these signs say eight foot, eight foot. And these people are showing up with 14 foot, 12 foot motorhomes. And they try to go through it, not paying attention, and sure off half the car. Or the ones with the campers on top. It's even more hilarious. They drive through and you see the whole camper get knocked the hell off there. 
Then the police come up. Not only the damage is there, but now you're being cited for being stupid. And that one I can understand. It tells you everything before you get there. Quote, unquote, bridge is only eight foot. And it warns you a couple of times before you even get there. Have you guys noticed? So, yeah. The river looks so good today. It's too cold. I've got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So, yeah, I can't do that. So, we got doctor's appointment tomorrow. I gotta be there at 11. That means I'm leaving at leaving at 6. You hear the clanking? That's the blade for the, con for the concrete uh, saw. That's the ding, ding, ding back there. Yes. Uh, more talk on the election. There, the lady tried to give me the runaround, guys. Tried to tell me May now. I said, ma'am, the paperwork needs to be ready even before then. You said April. Now you're saying May. I said, it's going to sound stupid. If I have to come in here with a marshal to make sure I get my paperwork, there's going to be a problem. Why would you come with a marshal? because you're dancing and dancing and dancing around the issue. Okay? There's one day to pick up the papers. You guys got your people in office. You want to stay there in office because you guys have jobs. Some of these people that have the jobs, guys, are in Arizona. Okay? And they're in a California office. Because Arizona used to own needles, remember? <sighs> they're saying they're doing repairs to the road. They said over was it, a couple of hundred thousand dollars to do repairs to the roads. And the road they swear they repaired, nothing's been done. They coated it with tar. They didn't fill any potholes. Hold on, guys. Somebody needs a ride. Hello. Hello. Where are you going? I'm going up to, uh, by Walmart. That's where I'm going, the Walmart in Old Mojave. No, I'm going to the other one, but that Walmart I'll take it. Fine. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Oh, no problem. <sighs> How are you doing today? Well, I'm doing good. I'm just doing a video for my YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> uh, I saw somebody, you were walking, but then I couldn't see. Your thumb was like... Yeah. <laughs> like after a while, it's yeah. annoying. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so hold on a minute. I wasn't trying to be annoying. I just kind of no, like... No, no, no. I, I, I just, I couldn't tell. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. My buddy, he wants some cash so he can go on the river. Yeah. And some medical for himself. Uh huh. So he told me take his concrete saw upon it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. He said he'll we'll get it out the week after. Yeah. Now to let you know, that door it has a it's messed up on the inside. Okay. So the handle you have to open it from the outside. Oh, uh, okay. So that's why the windows open. If it's too, ah, if it's, got you. If it's too windy, you can always want it up a little. Just a little bit. Okay, hold on, guys. That's good. Yeah, I've had it where I had both doors like that that you could open on the inside. So we had to climb in and out of it. There was a little big, so it wasn't too bad. And I was junk. Well, the bad thing is, the people, the locks are on the door. Uh -huh. Right there, your house is yeah. right there. They don't look at that, they just yank it. So that's uh -huh. what broke it. It's plastic. Yep. And these newer cars, they break down so easy. Yeah, the throwaway cars. Yeah. The other I cars. I mean, you can lean against them and they bend. Exactly. 
I was going to be doing my live streaming today, uh, but somehow one of my mods got blocked. So that means I have to go home, take every person that's my mod on my stream that regulates it. Uh -huh. I got to take them all off there except for one. So I can start streaming again. Yeah. And then find out who was blocked. Yeah. So he said, they'll give you 160, but tell them 140. Because at 160, they're buying it from you. Yeah. And they're going to sell it for it's twice. Like a, yeah. It's like a 10, $20 difference. Yeah, that's and all. you know, and the people are taking desperate. And they're like, okay, and you realize, oh no, shit, no, 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 yeah. pawn shop. A yeah. pawn shop is for what it is. He said, yep. get, he said, get one forty, keep twenty for yourself, because he can't get off work right now to do it. Yeah. And by the time we get there, they might be closed. Yeah, I think they close kind of early. Like they, that. they might stay up until seven. Well, no, that's sure that's that. that's not it. He just by time last time we got there, the traffic was we were backed up and stopped. We couldn't get there. Yeah. No, I watch people on the road while I'm going here. I look for cars broken down or... Yeah. I try to help out people when I can. Oh, me too. Because you never know when, you know, you might need a favor in return. Sometimes, yeah. They, they say, you know, I believe you treat people how you want to be treated. Exactly. Yeah. You know, if, if you want to be backstabbed, yeah. you know, go ahead, come up and shank me because I will find you. Yep. I mean, that's got me in trouble sometimes believing that way. Because I've gave people places to stay and then they just steal everything I own. Oh yeah, they will. I, I'm, I, me, if I have to stay with somebody for a little bit, I'm gonna try to help clean or do whatever, you know, try to pay my way a little bit. Some people just lay there yeah. and take advantage of it. And I don't have much as it is, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm. Uh, I was talking to them. I told them that April, the lady at the office in Needles, told me, "Come get your paperwork in April to run for mayor." I said, okay, fine. She goes, well, it's about May now. I said, ma'am, April, May, you have the paperwork. We take it, we fill it out, get 30 people to sign the paperwork. Mm -hmm. I said, and I run for mayor. I said, but you're putting it off because you don't want me to come in and run for mayor. Exactly. She goes, that's not true. I said, then there should be a special day you come in and you do it, not mm -hmm. say, come back, come back. Yeah, I give you the run around. I told her, I'll come back with a federal marshal. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, they hate it when you know your your the law. Oh you're, no, you're, they yeah. hate it because they call the police and you have a federal marshal, he oversteps every them. Oh yeah. He'll just say, cuff yourselves right now. Mm -hmm. I just get tired of the baloney. Yep. They're saying, oh, they're gonna do recreational weed. I said, when? Oh, well, they're gonna do two stores first. I said, which two stores? The ones that pay you the most in the background? Yep. Behind the back so there's no money trail? Yeah. I said, all stores are supposed to be legal. He goes, well, we made it so it's medical so people wouldn't lose their money. Okay, people invest in money. When we had prohibition for alcohol, people invested. Mm -hmm. All the bars were shut down. Okay, yeah. you take a chance, put your money in, and if it works, it works. Mm -hmm. So their baloney yeah. is baloney. And it's not even Oscar Mayer. Well, you know, they say it's legal, but then if Federal you're on stopped. it and you get stopped, they'll still take you to jail for under the influence. Nope. I, there was a girl I, that I knew that got put in jail for that. Under Someone, the this one guy, he, uh, they pulled him over. He said, for just drunk, they said drunk driving. Mm -hmm. He goes, well, I haven't been drinking. That's the she goes, yeah. ma'am, I blah, blah, blah. So they went ahead and they didn't give her a blood test to the next day, purposely, mm -hmm. because they couldn't prove she was drunk. Yep. They and said she was smart, she'd have fought it. <laughs> she did, but it didn't matter. The cop stayed on the force and they gave him a recommendation and he's teaching people, yeah. you know, what to look for if they're drunk. Yeah. And that's what they told her, that she was drunk. And she told the cop, I smoke legal marijuana. They gave her car and everything. But they still arrested for under the influence. They gotta prove it. Yeah. See, marijuana can stay in your system and not be high for 30 days. Exactly. So you can't prove it. Yep. So anyone trying to prove it that way will get laughed even out of the Supreme Court. Yeah, some people don't realize The swabbing that, of the mouth don't even work because your mouth is coated yep. with saliva and it's in there. Mm -hmm. 
That's what I'm saying. They don't like it if you kind of know your rights and stick up for yourself. Uh -huh. Some people don't know their rights and just, you know. Even if you do know your rights, a town might be so crooked they don't care. Even if you don't, at least stand up for yourself. But See, I was always told that if you're on, you know, the mayor board or whatever with the counselors and all that, uh -huh. you cannot own a business that deals with anything the town is doing. So in other words, if you're sitting there and they tell you, quote unquote, oh, we're voting on a, on a marijuana thing, okay? Well, we're sitting out of it. Why are you sitting out of it? Oh, we're part owners. You can't be part owners. Yeah. I was always told, look at Trump. You cannot own a business. He gave it all to his son, remember? Yeah. Okay? But his son is the biggest moron here. He has to meet people. I was, who's here? Oh, I'm having a meeting with him. What's his name again? Yeah. You even know the guy's name? Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> got me mad is him sitting there with the Navajo talkers that helped us win the World War II mm -hmm. and calling them Pocahontas. Yeah. That's, what I'm That's like <laughs> me walking up to him as Jew and say, hey, Kike, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it makes you wonder what our world's going to be. The man, no offense, Donald Trump, I believe, is going to be shot. Yeah. I'm not saying he should be. I'm saying the man will be yeah. by somebody. They might not make it or whatever, but he won't be elected again. No. Oprah's saying, well, I'm running. Okay, we already had Barack in there and his wife that was running her mouth. Yeah. I know better for your kids. Yeah. Okay, so she ain't going to get in there. Hillary ain't going to get in there. Yeah. I think the only reason Barack got in there is because he's black. They didn't want to do the prejudice thing. No. No. That wasn't the reason. He said he was going to make weed legal, and he lied. Yeah. Yeah, I don't kind of keep up with politics too much. That must be a big bug. It's a bug emergency. Yeah. Yeah, but if you have the cold, they can charge you a hell of a lot. But, uh, yeah, so... I'm waiting. It's 50 bucks to get my paperwork to run for mayor. Yeah. But mayor only runs for two years, and then you have to run again, and then you can't run again. Yeah. But then. So you can only do it twice? Yeah. Oh, now okay. the mayor that's there, mm -hmm. he's already done it twice. Mm -hmm. He's going to run for one of the councilor seats. Because it's a four year job. Yeah. Do you know they have a vice mayor? He does nothing. He's been in the hospital more than anybody. Yeah. It's like he's sitting in the hospital getting paid. Wow. And they don't even tell you what the mayor makes. Hmm. I mean, I'm a disability. If I end up getting off mayor, you know, and mayor, at least I can put money up for two years. Yeah, exactly. Before you go back on disability. Yeah. No. I, won't, I, I don't want to be on disability. Yeah. I want a job. So if it goes from there, and if I go to a council, that's fine. I would like to find four, four people besides me to run for the thing, saying recreational for all in needles. Okay, why needles needs the money? Yeah, it definitely does. Okay, so money-wise or whatever what, if we have it, we have it. If we don't, we don't. But at least it's going to cost 75 bucks just to put that statement. Yeah, exactly. They said, but people were going to see that and say, yep, yep. Because when they passed medical marijuana, nobody knew about it. Because yeah. they didn't tell anyone. Yeah. Yeah, I heard the 99 cent store closed over there, too. Oh, yeah, it closed because not enough people coming in. The whole town was coming in, but it wasn't enough people. Yeah. Truck drivers were coming in. Not enough people. Now, see, my opinion, the new Walmart, they should have put it in needles. No. To it, create, it, could, it could oh. not support it. Yeah, that's probably true. Any any store out there cannot be supported by, this, by, by, the, local by the locals. Yeah. You put recreational marijuana out there, people are already coming in looking for it. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but we're turning them away. They say California is legal. Mm -hmm. The city said no. The guy said, what kind of moron said that? And I showed him a picture of that moron. Yeah, that moron. And you know what he said? Where does he live? <coughs> I yeah. said, I don't know why. Because why? He goes, I'm going to punch him dead in his face. Yeah. 
When people say they're doing it for your own good, they're not. Okay, here's Texaco, so the next one coming up should be Valley Hospital, mm -hmm. and next after that should be the Walmart. Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is... Oh, sorry, I'm just... you need to go to that Walmart, so I'll pull you up front. I don't need to go to this one, I need to go to the other one. Okay, do you want to go out front and wait for a bus or something? No, uh, I don't think they have a bus here. Where would you like me to drop you? Uh, I guess just... Because uh... i got to go up a little further. Oh, okay. I got to go to the pawn shop. Okay, well... You know the then, pawn shop that's yeah. up here? I can wait for you out front or whatever. Have a cigarette and wait for you out front. No, right no, there. no. I, okay. I just... As far as I can get. <laughs> this is the farthest part right here. There's nothing right there. Come on, dude. That place is pretty good. I've got some nice chairs and stuff. Every time I've went there, it's been closed. They have certain days. Yeah. Well, a long a white boy with real long hair mm -hmm. that likes collectibles, and he had yeah. he had all kinds of stuff. He enjoyed it. Oh yeah, that's kind of pond. I mean, pond thrift store you want to go to? Is somebody you know like down to earth and not charge you outrageous prices? I got two leather recliners even though a little bit worn. And you know, they kick up the feet. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, 20 bucks each. Oh, I picked them up nice. one by one and took them home. Mm -hmm. But I did notice the leg thing does not stay up. Yeah. Okay, which is fine, because it's a rocker. Mm -hmm. I just sit at home rocking. I'm rocking, yep. Yeah, because furniture is expensive these days. Oh yeah. For the way it's made, it's expensive. You see where they moved the Burger King to? Brand new building. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, there's the pawn shop. Yeah, but mine's on a four by four. I can't go through that. Yeah, I when know. I used to have my Jeep, it'd be prump. Cop yep. says, what did you do? What do you mean? You drove off that way. I said, yeah, it's not a road. Does it say, don't do that? <laughs> no, but does it say, don't do that? Well, no. I said, because when you go to court, I'm going to ask them, does it say, don't yeah, do that? Yeah, it's a service road, so. <laughs> that cop told me, I went off in the desert, went off, cut, cut caddy corner. He goes, mm -hmm. you can't do that. And I said, why? Because you don't own that land. Do you own that land? Is there private property signs? <laughs> it is private property, oh. but I have permission to go through oh, the road. Okay. Yeah. So he goes like that. He goes, well, I'm giving you a ticket. I said, good, good. You write that ticket. Okay, now what are you doing? Show me a pit paperwork that I can do that. Why didn't you give me that first? Because I wanted you to be an idiot. <laughs> and yep. now you have to tear the ticket up. Oh. <laughs> so let's see. Hardly anyone here today. That's <laughs> weird. It's really weird. Okay, you gotta roll back down so I can help with it. Uh, thank you very Whoa. much. Oh crap. Thank you. My pennies and quarters, <laughs> I keep them separated so I can spin them. Yeah. Okay, thank you. No problem. You be okay? Yeah. All right. Take care. All right, guys. Just um, gave somebody a lift and we were gabbing and talking, you know, like people do. So, let me go ahead and unplug. And put this up. There we go. So. Uh, sorry, you're looking at my shirt, huh? Ouch. See, look at all that.
There it is. I gotta use two hands, so I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.